Hello everybody and welcome back to this wonderful world where we have uh, some very weird houses. Now you can see in my inventory already, the community have chosen me some horrible blocks. These are quite uh, transparent you might say. Uh, mangrove roots, yeah, I uh, cobweb and fletching table. Well fletching table isn't very see-through but you know. You know. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just tell you a few problems with these blocks first. Fletching table, it looks nice, but you see all the stuff around the outside. We can't use it to do, like, this very well. Oh, oh we don't actually have to press shift. This is great. Um, though, I have an idea which I will be using it for the roof. Um, mangrove roots, uh, I think those will work best as the walls of the building uh, and cobweb I think will work well as the floor because yeah you'll fall down into it and we might have some lava underneath it or something like that that would be quite fun uh, <laughs> yeah so I think we better start working out the shape of this build so we're going to have a five block front and uh, make sure it goes round so we have five blocks like that one, two, three, four, five. Wait, that might not be five. Um, there. Um, now we can go around like that. That. And uh, yeah, we can continue like this. Um, I'm thinking we can have a tiny little bit popping out like that. There we go. I think that's a decent size. It's not very big, but I mean these aren't supposed to be very big so yeah I will just start building this bit of the wall and I'm thinking whether we might want to use some muddy mangrove roots as well as a bit of texture yeah maybe at the bottom yes we could do that um, though it does depend on how different it looks I mean this looks pretty cool already I think it sort of looks like someone's built Maybe a sort of den out of this in the woods. You know how we do that. Like in public forests, we just build things out of sticks. It's quite usual. Uh, this sort of looks like someone's done this, but like on a house, to be fair. So yeah, um, I think we'd go around like that. Do these point in a certain direction? No, they don't seem to. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's the. Start now. We need to put some windows in. I think we put one there, one there, one there. Now one there, none there, one there. Uh, yeah. Now this is the hard part. Why we'll to put them along here? Probably one like that. Yeah, that will work. Um, and then yeah, we go all the way round. So now I need to work out what sort of glass we're going to use, or I guess not glass, because I'm going to be using a type of fence. Now it depends which one looks most like it, but I'm going to try between spruce and dark oak. Um, actually yes, spruce looks best. Uh, there we go. Well, it looks most like mangrove, I'm not saying it looks the nicest. I could have used mangrove, but I don't think it would look good with the mangrove roots. Um, yeah, I think mangrove roots was a great block to add it, though I can't use it in most of my builds. It, it, it does look very nice though. I guess you could use it for leaves, really. Um, um, now, this is starting to look quite nice. I am thinking about trying to put some muddy mangrove roots in like this. Yes, this sort of looks okay. Um, I'd say it looks nice. Um, I'm not saying it looks good, I'm just saying it makes it slightly more interesting. Um, yeah, we'll keep going like that and see what happens. Good, that's going around nicely. I think that's looking pretty cool. Uh, I will get rid of that, to put that there. Um, and then it can go around like this. Uh, and then continue on um, like this, um, like that, and then continue on to join up like that. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that works. Actually, I just had a great idea. Um, dripstone actually might... It has a very similar texture. Wait, what am, what am I talking about? No, it doesn't. From, from afar, it looks similar. But, yeah, if you can... It sort of does have that sort of texture. I mean, like, sideways, though. Um, anyway, we've got to do this little bit on the inside. Um, just because, yeah, it goes goes in there. Now, I think we might want to... Well, I don't know. How, how, how tall do we want to make this? It's, I think we'll just very quickly... Uh, get it ready for having a nice roof by doing this, um, and doing this, and then I guess we can do this as well. Yeah, we can have two roofs like that, um, roofs, I mean, um, uh, and then we can go around like this at the back. Yeah, this is actually complicated. Um, I like how this world is turning out, though. It looks okay. That's that's all I I think is good about this world. It looks okay, and it's just it doesn't look the best, of course, because these are rubbish building blocks. But it looks nice, ish. Now, actually, I'm going to very quickly work out what. Um, type of wood works well with, with this. I think, yes, birch. It's birch goes well with that, so we'll be using a bit of that in our build as well. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wool. Now, this will, uh, you'll realise as soon as I start putting it down, why I'm going to, why I'm putting it down. Um, uh, it is to make a nice wall. Now the thing is, I can't put any there because that's drying up with the grass. Um, so you can't see the dirt. That's basically the reason. And then we can have a way into some lava underneath, uh, which will be very fun. <laughs> I mean, this will literally be the house you can't live in. Uh, when you have an injury in this house, you you call the doctor and you ask why your foot is on fire, and then they come round, have a look. And they tell you that your floor is made out of cobweb and you fell through into the lava below. And then you contemplate your life choices on why you even bought a house. Which, uh, yeah, um, the floor is made of lava. Literally. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about, guys. Um, yeah, so we're going to continue building this round here. Um, and I think three blocks will make it look nice um, to getting into lava. And we'll fill all of this up with cobweb as well. I mean, I think this will look incredibly cool. Um, it won't look incredibly safe, but that's not the point. Uh, I might do a series where I'm building the safest house possible, where you can't kill yourself. Um, yeah, about that, maybe not. So I'm not going to make any promises on the things I'm going to do in the future. But, yeah, maybe, it might be a good idea, because, I mean, some of these builds you can easily kill yourself in. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for example, the one before, we did magma, and you could just die by not shifting on it. Um, and this one, you can die by just stepping into it. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We've got it down to here, and now we just need to empty out this floor with some wool. Um, we could do a bit of texturing, but I honestly don't want to. I don't want to put too much work into this. Um, now, I did notice I destroyed a block there that will be filled up with bats in the future. <laughs> so, we're going to continue building round here. I really like how it's looking um, so far. Now, we fill it up with cobweb. Oh, yes. It doesn't look like a nice place to live, but I mean, it looks cool. It looks like the floor is incredibly soft. Um, I mean, I can actually put furniture on top of this. I think I will probably, because this would be funny just to have some furniture you can do parkour on. Um, oh, I was going to put lava at the bottom, wasn't I? Oh, 
Right, okay. Um, I'm also going to do... Uh, wait, no, I don't think so. I think it'll just be funny you get trapped at the bottom. I don't want to make everything, like, really lethal. But if you wanted to, if you built this house, you could put a lava at the bottom. Or even uh, at the front of the door, have put it right above a stronghold and have a long way down into the end portal. Which I think is a trap people don't do enough. Because trapping someone by sending them to the end early game is just... It is literally really mean. Um, yeah, I... I hate this floor already, you can't jump. Um, but, I I mean, it looks pretty cool. Actually, it does look cool. Look at this. That looks... That, actually, that, that gives a really nice effect off, but... That actually looks nice. But, whether it works at all, I don't think it does. So, I guess I could put some carpet on. I don't know if you can put carpet on. Cobweb. You can parkour, parkour time. Guys, we've got parkour. There we go. Something like that. We can have some carpet every so often. Um, so you can go like... Oh, and I just missed the first jump. There we go. Um, and then there, there, and there. Yeah, we can do something like that once we've got the furniture sorted. But I want to concentrate on the roof now, because I think that is the next most important thing to do. So we're just going to try out some stuff. Um, doing that. That. I don't know if I need some birch on there, but I feel I do need it for texturing. Um, yeah, I think I will be right back. I will just quickly finish the roof and, uh, well, just quickly fill this up and tell you how it looks. Okay, guys, this is looking okay, I think. I do want to add a bit of birchin, but looking at this makes me think uh, about something. So I'm just going to get a cartography table. Um, Look at these nice textures Mojang have put below, well, below these tables. I think it's a real shame Mojang hasn't put these as an extra block. Like, look at this. This actually looks quite nice on its own, without the maps and stuff. And the fletching table literally looks like some sort of crate, which would be a really cool for certain builds. I want to see what other uh, things there are. Um, uh, wait, no, they're not in there. Because, yeah, there are some others, I'm sure. Um, wait, where are they? Um, okay, not in there, in decoration then. Yeah, so, um, you can see, um, yeah, you can see, like, the, the blast furnace has an interesting thing where it has part slab and part something else. Um, and then the bright, well, the, the smithing table has a nice texture underneath. I, f I feel it's a shame they don't have these as proper blocks as well, like without the the um, stuff which makes them work. Because look at this. Well, I mean, you can't use the fletching table, but look at this. I think really, yeah, really these should um, be proper blocks as well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to texture it with a bit of birch because we don't want too much... Uh, fletching table otherwise it will be a bit overwhelmed so just going to quickly go over this i don't think it's going to take too long and yeah i'll be right back okay so guys i think this was really cool from the top uh wait i disabled fly for myself just then uh yeah i think this looks really cool from the top you can see i've replaced most of it with birch but you can see these little bits which make it really nice and textured. I think this is a great block from the top, so if you're going to use it for like, for like just a floor, this might work quite well um, in a floor as a bit of texture. Um, it might look like someone has dropped something. Um, now, if we go in, uh, which we have to be very careful about, um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad from the inside. I think this looks actually pretty nice. I, well, you can see the bows and arrows all the time, but I think that's great about it. It just has a texture on each side. It's great. Um, 
It's a great block in itself, except that it has hardly any use because villagers are the only things that can use it. Um, now, um, yeah, so I'm just going to put some windows in round here because I feel it needs it because it's literally asking for it. Um, it's got a nice area to just put it in. Ooh, I could do this. I'm going to just try this. See what I think. Yes, I like that. But only at the back. There. Yeah, that looks quite interesting. Um, I'm going to just go right into the front and we're going to actually build some furniture into this house. Um, so, wait. Ooh. Yes, we do that and then it has a mat. It has a, like a door mat at the front. There we go, perfect. Uh, that's that sorted. Now, um, we can now... Um, I think put some furniture in. So we're going to of course use some mangrove wood for this and I really like mangrove for like fancy furniture. I think it looks incredibly nice if you imagine it being in, well I imagine it being mahogany or something like that. Um, uh, and then we're going to put it in like that and it has a really nice texture at the back. Um, we can now put another chair uh, three blocks away Maybe, no, two, one there. I mean, everywhere in here is a window, literally. Um, you can see through everything. So now we'll also do that. Have a small little table, um, not too much. That's great. Um, now you can also actually sit down in this design of table. So this is quite good in survival. If you want to show your friends how to sit down, you can just do this. Um, yeah. And then I guess press shift, but I'm not managing to press shift. Is my shift key broken? Probably. No, it's not. <laughs> right, I'm not sure what's happened there, but uh, yeah, okay, that looks pretty nice. Now I think we will add a bed over here, because why not? We will use some stripped mangrove lock, and we will just put that there, and then. I know this is open, but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to put some random furniture in here. Um, we're going to put some snow on. I thought white carpet and snow for a second. It is definitely not. Uh, we'll just do that. I like two layers. It looks like a nice puffy pillow. Now we'll put some red carpet on because that matches the mangrove. Okay. And we will do uh, sorry, um, this. There we go. We've got some nice decoration in there. Now I think this will just be an entrance way so we'll get some uh, carpet and we will just put it in a nice way where you can somehow get across to everything uh, with quite a bit of parkour. Uh, there we go I think that works. Now we'll put the mangrove door in because I'm sure we've been waiting for a mangrove door because it's a mangrove house literally. Uh, so we're going to do that. I think that doesn't look too bad although I don't actually want a mangrove door. I think spruce would look... Oh, I just destroyed the wall. I think spruce will look better. Uh, spruce is a quite a nice type of door. I think it's quite a nice versatile type of door as well. You can use it for lots of things. There we go. I think that is a complete build, guys. Um, now, I think, yeah, you just jump over here. And by the way, if you want to know how long it took me to build this, it took me 22 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, that's just what it says on the recording thing. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there we go. I think this is finished, and this is an amazing addition to this town. Now, I haven't decided on a name for this, I expect there will be in the future, I'll probably call this uh, well, some sort of town name, I guess. But yeah, anyway, I think this is actually one of the best ones in the town so far. I didn't really like this one much, the glass one, sorry, but yeah, it does. it is a bit of a um, pain to see or to look at. Um, it looks great from the inside, actually. Um, just go in like that. But yeah, I think we'll just have a look at some of the original builds we've got this. I mean, this is actually one of my favourite ones. It actually came out really well. 
then this one was definitely the best so far. We had diamond block floor, netherrack block roof, and dirt walls. I like this a lot. I think this one is possibly the best. Though, please tell me which one you think is the best in the comments down below. So we've got the mangrove one, we've got the sponge one, we've got the glass one, and we've got the dirt one. Now, these are all incredibly good, and I'm really thankful for my community for, su for, for, for suggesting these ideas, because uh, the, this was a really nice series to do so far, and I will be continuing it for a while until the sand is probably full, but by then I might have got a bit bored with this. So I don't know, we might build, let's say, uh, well, we, we might do 10 episodes, we might do 10 episodes. We can try and aim for 10 episodes at least. So anyway, this is the end of the fourth episode, and I'd like to really thank you all very much for watching, and I shall see you all in my next video. Goodbye. And sorry that I didn't do this last week. I completely forgot, and I will try and remember to do it next week. Bye. <laughs>